Hi friends. Mosquitoes are the number one vectors of deadly and debilitating infectious diseases. They're literally airborne and 2020 hopefully has taught everyone anything airborne travel and spreads really fast. There is a ton of misleading information and products on the internet when it comes to mosquitoes. So in this video, I hope to clarify everything, why mosquitoes love you and your kids, and then dive into how to protect you and your family. You will also benefit to learn and recognize some signs and symptoms of mosquito-borne infectious diseases so that you can get help if you've been bitten. Mosquitoes love your feet. If you've ever smelled your feet or your shoes, you know it has a certain scent and it's probably a bit stinky. Those odors are made by anaerobic bacteria as well as your sweat and it's trapped in your shoes. And some mosquito baits are actually made out of used nylon stockings. So wear thicker socks, clean your feet well, and avoid, you know, open-toed sandals or holes in your shoes. Now, many chemicals make up body odors, including lactic acid, which attracts mosquitoes. After a hard workout, your sweat will have more lactic acid, which builds up when you don't have enough oxygen and thiamine, vitamin B1. Both exercise or illness can increase your lactic acid load, which will end up in your sweat. And you will be more attractive to mosquitoes during and after you exercise, especially if you're under the weather. And as you grow older, you're going to lose the efficiency of clearing that lactate, especially if you have metabolic diseases like diabetes. So cover yourself up if you have to exercise outdoors with mosquitoes and shower as soon as possible to get rid of some of that smell. Your armpit, your hands can also emit unique smells and some people sweat a lot in these places. That attracts mosquitoes and keeping your hands clean and avoiding you know, sleeveless shirts help protect you from mosquitoes. The smell of your sweat is also dictated by the foods that you eat. So if you like to eat foods with high lactate levels like cheese and yogurt, you're gonna secrete more lactic acid and in your sweat, in your breath, especially, you know, if you don't rinse your mouth well or if you're not digesting your food quickly enough. So think about avoiding these foods a day um, and the night before an outing. It's actually any fermented foods. Even kimchi and pickles will produce lactic acid because bacteria naturally produce lactic acid when they ferment your foods. I don't eat any pickled foods for this and many other reasons. And if you're on a ketogenic diet, that ketone breath you have is also a mosquito attractant. Proteins also make um, nitrogen waste like ammonia that are found in your breath, and especially if you have problems in your liver. So ammonia is also a mosquito attractant. And it gets even worse. Simply exhaling carbon dioxide attracts mosquitoes. And the faster you breathe, like when you're exercising, the more mosquitoes you're attract. And breathing fast just isn't a response to exercise. You know, if you're sick, let's say if you have heart and lung disease or an infection, you may feel anxious. You may expel more carbon dioxide and attract more mosquitoes. People who have a higher metabolic rate breathe out more carbon dioxide as well. And when you're surrounded by people or animals, you know, everybody's breathing out carbon dioxide and it concentrates it. It attracts more mosquitoes. But seriously, Wear protective clothing, cover yourself up, and that may even include a hat with a mosquito net. Don't open windows uh, next to doors that you're going to use because of this, you know, scent that you're making, right? So you want to open windows furthest away from revolving doors and make sure there's no holes in your screens. You know, tape it up if you see a hole. And if two people are in the same room, mosquitoes would prefer the person with the higher body temperature who admit more heat. They're attracted to heat. So some people have higher metabolic rates, uh, like younger people, especially children. And of course, if you're actively having fevers or if you're exercising, you're going to have higher hormones like cortisol to give you higher temperatures. And if you're under the weather, you know, rest at home. If you have kids, make sure you dress them up appropriately to be covered up. Pregnancy by itself attracts more mosquitoes, probably from a combination of hormonal and temperature changes. And if you get an infectious disease during pregnancy, like Zika virus, that can affect your unborn child. So make sure you get covered up. And let's talk about other ways you can protect yourself. You now, first of all, don't make your home attractive. Remove all standing water and check around your home at least once a week. 
Keep a screen on all your doors and windows and make sure there are no holes in your screens. Keep your front door clean of plants where mosquitoes like to hide and don't put shoes next to doors or windows. You also may not want to turn on the light, the porch light, um, especially when you're not using it because that will attract mosquitoes. And that's why your UV bug zapper may not be so effective. Now keep your bedroom door closed and the light off. If you're concerned that you may have a mosquito in your house, you know, they, it's harder for them to find that little hole under the door. And of course, don't keep your door wide open it's in the warmth of the odors, the smells, and the carbon dioxide. They all attract more mosquitoes. And to reduce the concentration of the odors in your home, Make sure you ventilate your home. Open your windows out of far away from the doors that you go in and out. And of course, when you go out, wear loose fitting long sleeves and thick pants to protect you from bites. You may want to shower first before to remove all the sweat and those smells. Floral perfumes can also attract mosquitoes. Use mosquito netting over strollers and carriers. For big kids, you know, wear a mosquito hat. There currently are a number of products that the EPA has deemed safe and effective for pregnant and breastfeeding women. Remember that the last two, lemon eucalyptus oil as well as permethane diol, they're not to be used for kids under three. Now my preference is lemon eucalyptus oil for me since that's a natural plant oil. And some general rules, make sure you don't spray it on your face, you know, spray it on your hands and then massage it over your face and make sure you avoid all your eyes, any cuts, your mouth, irritated skin. It's not going to feel good. Always follow the instructions on the back of the bottle of any mosquito repellent and don't spray it under clothing, spray it over your clothing. You want to repel them. No method is foolproof. So let's talk about some signs and symptoms of mosquito borne illnesses. The good news is that most people won't get any symptoms, even if Mosquitoes have an infectious disease, but millions of people still do get sick with malaria, dengue, and Zika, and West Nile virus, um, which are just a few of the infections that you can get from mosquito bites. However, if you're traveling, please see your medical doctor to see if you can get on some medications like malaria for prophylaxis. Malaria is still deadly and rampant across the world, but I'm going to really talk about general symptoms of mosquito-borne infectious diseases. If you know you've been bitten or you kill a mosquito with some blood and you're suspicious, make sure that you see a doctor if you have any, any fevers, chest pains, palpitations, muscle pains, or headaches, tiredness, rash, abdominal pains, problems walking, nausea, vomiting, and especially if you have any confusion, altered mental status, seizures, or any other focal neurological deficits preventing you from walking, if you're bleeding, make sure that you see a medical doctor or go to an emergency room or urgent care if you have any of these symptoms. Now, if you want to learn how to boost your immunity, check out this next video.